All right guys, welcome to your 48th biology tutorial and in this video I want to talk to you guys about chromosomes and also something called chromatid. Now I want to do this because in the upcoming videos I'm going to be using this terminology a lot so it's better if I give you guys a real basic understanding now. So if you guys are unfamiliar with chromosomes or chromatid, again like I said let me give you guys a real quick overview and I say quick overview because just like everything else in biology there there's basically a lot of material to cover just on chromosomes and we're going to be talking about them in detail later on but for now I'm just going to give you guys a real quick overview I'll shut up now and start teaching so during interphase actually let me go ahead and draw two cells the first one right here will be interphase and we already know that interphase means when the cells going about its daily routine not dividing so let me go ahead and label these interphase on the left and we'll say getting ready to divide to divide on right. Alright, now I drew these because we already know during interphase the blue thing is of course the nuclear membrane and of course the nuclear membrane isn't this big but for my you know example that I'm about to do I want to zoom in on the nucleus a little bit. The DNA, and we already know that DNA of course is in the nucleus, it's all spread out so it looks a little bit something like this a bunch of tiny strands and they're loose and they're spread out all around the nucleus. So the reason that your DNA whenever you know your cells experiencing interphase or just working its daily routine or its daily job is spread out is because we already know the function of DNA. Now in order for DNA to work quickly and efficiently it's better if it has more surface area and it's spread out again like I said just so it can work more efficiently. However whenever the cell is getting ready to divide it's easier for your cell to divide your DNA if it's packed up into these tight little packages so instead of you know all spread out like it was an in interface whenever your cells getting ready to divide it condenses its DNA or packs it together into these little things and these whoa let me go ahead and change my brush size these things right here I'll call, are called chromosomes So a real quick you know, definition is, of a chromosome is packed up DNA. So one more time, during interphase or during the cell's daily routine, it's better if the DNA is spread out just because it's more efficient that way. And whenever your cell's getting ready to divide, it's easier, we'll see later on, if it packs it up into these tight little packages. And tight little packages of DNA are called chromosomes. So now let me go ahead and open up a new slide and talk to you guys about the different kinds of, well, I don't want to say different kinds of chromosomes, but a little bit more about chromosomes. So before I start talking, let me go ahead and actually draw a couple chromosomes. And I'll draw these a little bit thicker. All right, so the green things will, of course, be chromosomes. And I'll talk, talk to you guys about why I'm drawing different ones later on. So these green things are your chromosomes, and I'm going to draw something else in a different color. And I'll just draw this right here. All right. So what color did what color am I going to write with? Yellow looks pretty good. So as you can see, I drew the chromosomes in green, but I also drew this pink thing in the middle of each one. Now the pink thing where the chromosome is kind of pinched in is called a centromere. Now I said that I drew in the middle, but it actually doesn't have to be in the middle vertically on each one. So this one is basically right in the dead middle, but this one is kind of, you know, to the top and this one's at the very top. So they can either be in the dead middle or off-centered or at the very top. But nonetheless, the centromere is the portion where the chromosome is pinched in. Now another thing I want to point is that you see how you can basically take each chromosome and split them like this and let me split this one there we go so it has a left and a right strand to it well these little strands are called chromatid so there's a chromatid on the left a chromatid on the right on each one no matter where the centromere is it has two chromatid so basically, if you were talking about this, you know, technically, you would say that each chromosome, which is the entire thing, is made up of two sister chromatid, one on the left, 
one on the right, and they are joined together by a centromere, and the centromere would of course be this purple pinkish thing I drew. So another thing we want to point out is that sister chromatid are 100% identical to each other. So this chromatid right here is identical 100% to this chromatid, and we can do that for everyone. This chromatid is identical to that one. This one is identical to that one. So later on, you know, I don't want to talk about, you know, cell division too much in depth, but basically one of these chromatid are going to go to one cell and one of them are going to go to the other cell so we end up with the exact same copy in two different cells that's where the cell is going to split in half so basically what happens during the S phase of interphase remember that I told you guys that um, each cell duplicates its DNA form forming two sister chromatid is this I'll go ahead and show you guys a real quick example it starts with one chromosome and what you end up with after the S phase is a chromosome separated with a centromere but basically you have two sister chromatid now you know how I said that this was a chromosome and I'm also saying that this entire thing is a chromosome well that's one of the things in biology they call each of those things chromosomes no matter if it's made up of one chromatid or two but just remember for this tutorial that whenever I'm talking about chromosomes I'm going to be talking about this entire structure right here and whenever I say that each chromosome is made up of two sister chromatid of course I mean this one on the left is a sister and this one on the right is a sister chromatid and they are separated by this thing in the middle called a centromere now as we're going to see later on after mitosis one of these sister chromatid is going to go to one cell the other one is going to go to the other cell and even though the splits in half each daughter cell is going to be identical why is that well it's because each chromatid is the exact same so hopefully you guys understand a little bit more about chromosomes which are basically dna packed together and also the different basically the different pieces of a chromosome chromatid joined together with the centromere and uh, well that's pretty much it so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and in the next tutorial we're going to start covering mitosis